Hello there, my beautiful Capricorns, and welcome to your September mid-month Love Tarot reading with me, Miss Machiste. Capricorn, we are looking into your love life and what will be coming your way next in terms of love for the second half of September. Please keep in mind that time is fluid. And do not forget to check your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs out on my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Please do not forget to subscribe. And if you are returning Capricorn, welcome back. And thank you so very much for being here. Stick around towards the end of the reading. I will be getting each Zodiac sign's feelings for you. So Spirit for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs in terms of love for the second half of September. What's going on here for my beautiful Capricorns? Please show me for Capricorn what's going on in their love lives and what will be coming their way next. All right, here we go, Capricorn. First card out is we have dreams coming true, the nine of cups, wish fulfillment, water energy. All right. We have love abounds, the ace of cups, more water energy. We have Clarity of Belief, the Ace of Swords, Fire Energy, I mean, I'm sorry, Air Energy, what am I saying, Fire? We have Flow, this is the Wheel of Fortune. Ooh, we have the Ace of Wands, hello, and we have Embrace, wow, the world. Okay, Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. This is beautiful. So for a lot of you Capricorns, if you are in a relationship, you are starting completely over with this person. I feel like for a lot of you, you are leveling up the love with this person, re-sparking the passion, and really feeling like this relationship is finally moving in a positive direction with the world here i do feel like for a lot of you capricorns there has been a very large cycle that has caused a lot of struggle for this relationship so first story you are in a connection i feel like capricorn this is your key for this reading we started off with the nine of cups below i mean above the wheel of fortune so there is a very specific wish that you made that is coming true with an, a stroke of luck as well. So some of you, you may have been wishing for a new person. Some of you, you may have been wishing for a past person. Some of you may have been wishing for a fresh start with your current person. So Capricorn, whatever you have been wishing for, it looks like your wish is being granted in an extremely large energy so it looks like the love is still here the spark is being re-sparked the communication is getting better so if you are in a relationship i feel like this is the moment that we've all been waiting for almost like this is the moment you two have been waiting for almost this whole relationship where you two feel comfortable loved just in tune, very intimate, very close, and just feeling really good. And I feel like for a lot of you Capricorns, you needed to close out a very hard cycle with this person to have this wish fulfillment. Some of you, this is very specific. New love is here, really. So if you've been wishing for new love, this is definitely your reading. So let's clarify this here for you Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for my beautiful Capricorns. Can you please clarify this spirit for Capricorn? So on the Nine of Cups, we have the Three of Cups. Happiness is restored in your love life for this connection. You're just feeling good. You're feeling freer. You two may go out and do things. You may go out and just have fun together. Ace of Cups with the Hermit. So this is definitely an energy of healing the heart as well. On the um, Ace of Swords, we have the Tower, which is Scorpio energy. On the Wheel of Fortune, we have the King of Pentacles. Here you are, Capricorn, coming in very abundant, very stable. On the Ace of Wands, we have the Eight of Swords. 
And on the world, we have the magician. Look at that. All right, so Capricorn, you have a very, very, very specific wish that is being granted by spirit here. And I feel like for a lot of you, if you are in a relationship, I don't know what specifically happened here. I don't know if the love was lost or the spark dwindled or there was some sort of conflict between the two of you, but all is finally right in this connection. And I feel like for a lot of you Capricorns with this Ace of Swords with the Tower, I feel like this person wanting to move forward with you is a bit shocking towards you. You receiving victory in your love life with this person, I feel like is very unexpected. I feel like as well, there is a sense of healing between the two of you with the hermit. So you're either finding a sense of healing the heart with this person, really opening up to love and really just feeling better, freer and happier in navigating this connection. And I wanna say as well, you have the magician. And the Magician is the card that has all five, all four elements on his table. He has a cup, he has a sword, he has a wand, and he has a pentacle. And in your reading, you have a cup, you have a sword, and you have a wand. So, and you hold the pentacle. So Capricorn, I really just feel like whatever relationship you're in, the possibilities are honestly endless here. And I feel like you both need to realize that. And with this Eight of Swords on the Ace of Wands, I feel like... You're a little bit in your head or they're a little bit in their head about like this spark, this renewal happening and it's staying consistent. So I feel like for a lot of you Capricorns, you have been wanting this re-spark, you have been wanting this spark in your love life, whether it's a re-spark or just a spark that's happening, an offer that's coming, whatever the case may be, I feel like you want it to last. I feel like they also want it to last. So there is a little bit of in the head energy, like is this gonna last? Is it gonna go somewhere? And I honestly feel like it will. And I feel like for a lot of you, you're almost realizing that we can really have it all. So let's clarify this bottom row here for my beautiful Capricorns. Some of you, you're just shocked by new love. For others of you, you're just shocked by the fact that you and this person can really find this happiness and this victory. I feel like communication is getting better. I feel like the way you two show each other emotions getting better as well. Let's clarify this bottom row. On the King of Pentacles, we have the Six of Wands, feeling successful, feeling like you can believe in this connection, giving each other attention, giving each other that love. Eight of Swords with the Sun. So you will find that clarity. I almost feel, okay, for Capricorns that you are just reconnecting with your person on a very different level, I feel like you two are wanting to be more like playful and youthful with one another. And I feel like one of you specifically wants that very heavily in the connection. And I feel like it's going to come, but since it comes so abundantly... I feel like whoever really does want that youthful playness like energy in the connection is a bit in their head about it lasting long. Magician with the devil. There you are, Capricorn. So I definitely feel like you are receiving a very, very large gift from the universe. Whatever. And I felt this way with your weekly, I believe, for maybe this current week or last week where there was something that's going to surprise the crap out of you because you just did not expect it to go in your favor. So either new love is here, you've been manifesting, you've been wishing for it. For others of you Capricorn, you have a totally renewed sense like legitimately we're starting from scratch. Let's let's date each other again, right? Let's act like we're in that honeymoon stage again. And I very specifically feel intuitively with this position that somebody really wants to bring the sun, childlike energy, youthful like happiness into this connection. And I feel like there's going to be that spark of it, but somebody wants it to stay. And I feel like that's how somebody feels like this connection can be successful. Like if we could just have fun with one another, if we could just find a way to always make sure we're in uplifting energy despite what's going on in our lives you know staying positive somebody really feels like it can help this connection I feel that energetically as well and that may be why they're so heavily pressuring that youthful happy uplifting type of energy there's love here there's abundance there's an energy of coming back together reuniting or reuniting with someone 
and Capricorn, despite the fears and the doubts, I really do feel like you can you feel like you can have it all with this person. And the luck that you get in your love life for the second half of September, you would have never thought. You would have never thought. Like, this is amazing. You have the Nine of Cups above the Wheel of Fortune. You're getting very lucky in your love life where there was a thought process in your head where you thought there was no way in hell things will get better in this connection or there's no way in hell that I'll find new love and you are pleasantly surprised. So, Capricorn, this is a pretty nice reading and... I feel like luck is extremely on your side, extremely in favor of you, but I don't know. I guess some of you Capricorns just like, no, I always have bad luck. There's no way I have good luck. I have bad luck. I have bad luck. You can't have the good without the bad, and you can't have the bad without the good, so this is just your moment for good luck, and some of you, it's like very hard to believe that, but it's here, so yeah, yeah. Um, in terms of zodiac signs, I have strong Leo, Capricorn, Virgo, Gemini, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus. You really could be dealing with anyone. We have like a bunch of energies out. So let's see here. Capricorn. In terms of your oracle. Here for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. For Capricorn. All right, we have cycles. There you go. A new cycle has birth. That would be like the Wheel of Fortune energy. We have Muse. See? That's what I mean. That inspired like energy. That like feeling uplifted, enthusiastic, not really letting the the trials and tribulations of life affect this connection. And we have surrender. Yeah. All right, let's clarify this again here for my beautiful Capricorns. If, I feel like you're like in the honeymoon stage again with this person or you, I feel honeymoon stage energy. So it definitely could be a newer energy or just starting all over. So let's clarify this here for Capricorn. On cycles, we have fifth dimension. So some of you may have got signs and synchronicities about this energy. We have muse with abandoned. So I feel like to save this connection, you two feel like you need to have that. Um, that sense of like dating one another again or just starting from scratch. We have surrender with received. Yeah, so I feel like you two now know how to save this connection and how to create a fresh start for this connection. Let's clarify this. On fifth dimension, we have tribe. So your spiritual support system is definitely coming in very heavily. On abandoned, we have purge. So you two are going to be releasing those abandonment issues. Because I feel like with all these aces and the world, there had to be a cycle that was very difficult. And I almost feel like that cycle was almost positioning you and this person like, all right, things are either going to get be over or get a lot better. But we cannot stay where we are. And single Capricorns, you may be like, all right, either my lonely days are over or I, or love is here. They're like, something's got to give. That's what I feel like, especially if you're connecting or have connected to this person, whatever cycle you two have just endured, it was like, this is ending or this is going to get way better, but we cannot stay here. Received with reinvention. What did I say? Reinventing this connection, a change and things just becoming better. Reinventing this connection. Starting from scratch. You have received that sign of this happening. So let's clarify this one more time here for my beautiful Capricorns. Somebody had a fear of this being it, this being over because of a past cycle that you two were just in. Tribe with mirroring. 
Purge with Solitude. Yeah, no more lonely days. Reinvention with commitment. Reinventing this connection. I do strongly very, very much feel this is somebody that you are connected to. But, you know, with all those aces, I do need to throw in new love, right? But pretty confirming to the whole reading. So I'm not really going to keep repeating myself there. So Capricorn, let's get each Zodiac sign's feelings for you for this second half of September. Spirit for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. All the way from Aries to Pisces, can I please have each Zodiac sign's feelings for my beautiful Capricorns? All right, we have Aries feelings for you as justice. So Aries wants to make things right in this connection. If they did something wrong, they definitely want to right their wrongs. Or Aries may just feel like they want to receive their justice and good karma from this connection. I do feel like they want balance restored with you. Um, but they either feel wronged or they feel like they need to make something right. So you know if you wronged someone, obviously. Um, next we have his Taurus feelings for you as the Five of Cups. So Taurus is very disappointed about this connection. Some sort of expectation they had has not been reached. And they do feel like they are um, very... They're just in a negative mindset about this connection. They may be sad about something. Um, next we have his Gemini's feelings for you as the Four of Cups. So Gemini feels ignored and or rejected by you. Or they feel like you are invalidating their emotions somehow. We have Cancer's feelings for you as the Two of Wands. So um, you could be dealing with a Cancer who has decided to take the new path away from this connection. Or you have decided to choose a path away from Cancer. Or you could be dealing with a Cancer who is very much anticipating your next move. Leo's feelings for you, Capricorn, are the moon. So I feel like Leo has very strong feelings for you here, but they fear opening up about them. I do feel like Leo... Um, has some sort of fears about the way or whatever path this connection is going down, but I feel like their emotions for you run very deep where they're kind of just going to sit in the position of like, I'll just go down whatever path we're going down and just hope we can have success. But they do have a fear of where you two are headed and if it's going to be successful, but I do feel like they have feelings for you, whether they are exposed or not. I do feel like the feelings are there. Virgo's feelings for you are the Queen of Wands. So Virgo is feeling very attracted towards your energy. They definitely want to pursue you. You will know that Virgo is interested in you. They think you look good, you smell good, and you are handsome, beautiful, whichever the case. And they want to pursue you. Libra's feelings for you is death. So Libra feels like things are over or things have changed drastically. Um, you would know if you ended things with a Libra or something has changed with you in Libra. So either Libra created this change or you did. Next we have is Scorpio's feelings for you as the Five of Swords. So Scorpio feels a bit defeated about this connection. I feel like Scorpio doesn't want to give up on this relationship, but they kind of want the drama and the conflict to end. For some of you, you have broken up with a Scorpio, but I still get a sense that they are, they're even defeated about the fact that things didn't work out. So I don't know. I kind of feel like they don't want to let go of it. We have Sagittarius feelings for you as the King of Swords. So Sagittarius feels like you are very detached and distanced from them. You may have cut off a Sagittarius or Sagittarius just blatantly feels cut off by you. This could be vice versa. Your Sag may be a bit turned off cold here, giving you the cold shoulder. We have Capricorn's feelings for you, Capricorn, as the Queen of Pentacles. So Capricorn definitely wants to have comfortability, commitment, and a sense of stability with you. If you are not stable with a Capricorn yet, they may be offering this to you. You may work with a Capricorn as well, but they definitely want a sense of comfortability and that commitment with you. We have... Aquarius feelings for you is the Page of Cups. So there is an open apology or some sort of open love coming from an Aquarius. Um, your Aquarius may be apologizing to you about something or your Aquarius is just deciding to open up to you more on a loving level. And Pisces feelings for you. Capricorn are the Six of Wands. So Pisces feels very victorious in this connection. They love getting your attention. They like giving you attention. You and Pisces may have just found victory after an extreme sense of challenge with the Six of Wands coming in. Feeling like you two have won the war and can finally move forward. For some of you, you're just basically getting a lot of attention and giving attention to a Pisces. So... 
that's what I have here for you. Let's make sure everyone's out. Capricorn, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, Capricorn. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And I hope you have a wonderful second half of September. And I'll talk to all of y'all very soon. Bye now.